Okay, this one's a little bit tougher. There are 400 students in the sixth grade. 25% of the students walk home. 40% of the students ride the bus, the bus, and the rest are car riders. How many students ride home in a car? Oh, okay, so this one is interesting. I have a lot more numbers here, right? So I want to know how many students ride home in a car. Do I know the percent of the students that ride home in a car? No, it doesn't tell me that, but it gives me the information that I can find that, okay? So we're gonna say 25% walk, 40% ride the bus, and all the rest take home a car, okay? Well, all together, they have to add up to a certain percentage. Okay, think about what percentage means one whole. It's 100%. So 40 plus 25 gives me 65% plus what number adds up to 100? Well, that number, to find that, I could subtract 100 minus 65, and I would get 35%. But it's not asking me what percent ride home in a car. It's asking me what number of students. So now I need to know 35% is what part of 400? So I need the part, the whole, and my percent. Okay? Well, 35 is the percent I'm working with. And it always goes over 100. This 400, is that the part of the students that ride home in a car? Or is that the whole, stu the whole school? Well, 400 represents the whole school. So what we're going to be finding is the part. Now, that one's not too bad because I, I could cross multiply and divide. This says 35. Sorry, it's a little messy. But I could also use this scale factor here. 100 times 4 is 400, so 35 times 4. Okay, well, 35 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. That would be 140. Okay, now you could look at that. I mean, that basically what we did there was say, well, 35 out of every 100, but we have 400, so we multiply that by 4. Okay, it's 140 students ride home in a car.